Saudi Arabia, known for its ambitious ventures, has again captured the world's attention with an audacious plan. The Line, a $1 trillion futuristic megacity unveiled by Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, defies the limits of architectural marvels. Imagine two colossal skyscrapers, each towering 500 meters into the sky, stretching 170 kilometers across the majestic landscape of mountains and desert terrain. The magnitude of this project is simply mind-boggling. To put it into perspective, envision 2,000 World Trade Centers side by side, and then imagine that image repeating itself twice. It's a grand vision that seems almost ludicrous. Only a dozen skyscrapers worldwide have surpassed the 500-meter height barrier, and now Saudi Arabia plans to erect a staggering 4,000 simultaneously in the same place. But why would Saudi Arabia embark on such a daring venture? Are they seeking global attention, or is there a genuine drive to push the boundaries of human achievement? Join us as we explore the awe-inspiring journey of the Mirror Line. When it comes to transformation, no country can match the sheer ambition of Saudi Arabia. In 2016, the Kingdom unveiled its visionary roadmap, Vision 2030. This comprehensive strategy aimed to decrease the nation's reliance on oil and steer the economy towards sectors like tourism and technology. As part of this grand vision, Saudi Arabia introduced an awe-inspiring master plan called NEOM, representing a new future. NEOM, the futuristic smart city, encompasses three colossal mega-projects that are set to redefine the very concept of urban living. With this groundbreaking initiative, Saudi Arabia is poised to embark on an extraordinary journey toward a brighter, more technologically advanced tomorrow. The initial phase of this project is an impressive, floating industrial complex known as the Octagon. It is an innovative eight-sided structure that will function as a port for shipping routes across the Red Sea. Furthermore, the city will feature an exceptional outdoor skiing destination called Trojana, which will be situated in the heart of the Arabian Peninsula. This captivating locale will host a variety of entertainment and events, ensuring a vibrant year-round atmosphere. However, none of these ventures can compare to the sheer extravagance of the Mirror Line. Unveiled in January 2021, this ambitious undertaking has recently revealed more intricate details that surpass the boundaries of rationality. Describing it as insane would be a gross understatement. So, what exactly is the Mirror Line? It comprises two towering structures, each measuring 500 meters in height, running in parallel over a vast expanse of 100 kilometers across desert terrain. These extraordinary edifices will possess mirror exteriors, with a mere 200 meters of space between them, accommodating a thriving city of 9 million inhabitants. This linear city will begin from the coast of the Gulf of Aqaba in the Red Sea, traversing mountains and desert landscapes. To connect the two mirrored facades, walkways will be constructed, while the interiors will efficiently be vertically built, encompassing public parks, offices, and residential spaces stacked atop one another. The plan entails stacking the essential infrastructure of a conventional city vertically, but that's not all. The vision also encompasses complete sustainability and integration of state-of-the-art technology. Vertical farming integrated into the 500-meter high walls will ensure a self-sufficient food source for the residents. Moreover, the structure aims to feature a marina for yachts and a sports stadium towering up to 305 meters above the ground. However, the question arises, is building such an extraordinary city truly feasible, or is it simply an unattainable dream? The Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia heralds the Mirror Line as a revolutionary milestone in human civilization, but only time will tell if it can be realized. But this project appears to be an immense, fantastical realm reminiscent of a wondrous world pulled from the pages of a fictional tale. Saudi Arabia's ambitious plan aims to construct certain sections of this marvel by 2030, with the intention of relocating over a million occupants. Nevertheless, while humankind has accomplished remarkable feats in constructing colossal structures within challenging landscapes, the Mirror Line's grand promises seem to exceed the bounds of possibility within such a limited time frame. Saudi Arabia's recent track record in constructing extraordinary skyscrapers hasn't been particularly impressive. Take, for instance, the Jeddah Tower, originally envisioned to claim the title of the world's tallest building. However, its progress has been halted and has only reached approximately one-third of its intended height. 
However, it is worth noting that Saudi Arabia is already home to the fourth tallest skyscraper globally. The Mirror Line, on the other hand, defies anything ever built in history. Yet, it parallels the ambitious plans of the Illinois Tower over 60 years ago. Back then, the notion of a mile-high building seemed utterly insane. Similarly, the realization of the Mirror Line may be limited to paper, or in this case, to 3D renderings and promotional videos. However, the entire world is captivated this time, with approximately 50 million individuals having already witnessed its trailers. As the stakes and anticipation rise, the fate of the Mirror Line hangs in the balance, awaiting its ultimate verdict. Why does Saudi Arabia propose such an extraordinary project when it's unlikely to fulfill its promises? Since Mohammed bin Salman came into control of the country, Saudi Arabia has been actively attempting to redefine its image. Projects like the Mirror Line are part of this rebranding effort to capture global attention. Saudi Arabia wishes to be perceived as a nation with much more to offer, shifting its economy toward tourism. Currently, most visitors to the country come for religious pilgrimages. Saudi Arabia seeks to portray itself differently on the international stage by making headline-grabbing announcements like the Mirror Line. The Mirror Line holds personal significance for Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, who compares it to the grandiose mega-projects of the Middle East and considers it My Pyramids. By unveiling the unbelievable project amid this architectural transformation, anticipation and excitement are generated. Furthermore, the project's website suggests Neom is a visionary concept showing potential future city structures and modern transportation ideas. Hence, it could also be viewed as a research endeavor exploring alternative urban planning and transportation concepts. By announcing the Mirror Line, Saudi Arabia has successfully garnered international attention, achieving its goal of capturing global interest in its ambitious plans. Nevertheless, the response to the project has been largely negative, with numerous unanswered questions. The proposal aims to construct a city boasting a 100% sustainable transport system with zero emissions. However, a crucial aspect seemingly overlooked is the substantial carbon footprint generated during the construction process. Surprisingly, there is no mention of this environmental concern. Estimates provided by Oldfield at the University of New South Wales suggest that the line's construction alone could result in nearly 2 billion tons of CO2 emissions, surpassing the total emissions produced by the United Kingdom over four years. Given these staggering construction-related emissions, the promise of establishing a carbon-neutral city appears far from convincing. Also, critics have highlighted Saudi Arabia's questionable human rights record and are already evaluating the potential human cost associated with the country's initiatives in the region. Numerous indigenous tribes who have inhabited towns and villages for centuries are directly affected by these developments. According to foreignpolicy.com, approximately 20,000 people are displaced to make room for Neom. Additionally, Saudi security forces have faced accusations of fatally shooting at least one protester opposing the project. Furthermore, the country has failed to effectively implement labor reforms, resulting in the widespread exploitation of migrant workers. Thus far, no clear plan has been presented by authorities to address these issues. This tarnished human rights record has become a prominent concern and will likely pose obstacles in securing the necessary funding for the trillion-dollar mega-project. Despite the planners' aspirations to attract foreign investors, the country continues to face significant boycotts from the Western world, with economic partnerships being met with resistance. Even if funding is obtained, some of the intricate plans for Neom and the Mirror Line appear overly ambitious and challenging to transform into reality. According to most observers, the final designs of the projects are expected to differ significantly from what has been showcased on media platforms. Saudi Arabia lacks the expertise to bring these ambitious plans to fruition, even with foreign assistance. The scale of the Mirror Line project is so immense that it would likely take several decades to complete, if at all. Additionally, there are valid concerns about whether people would desire to reside in such a place. While the Mirror Line is currently presented as a conceptual idea for alternative lifestyles, the project's feasibility and the aforementioned human rights issues pose significant obstacles. Realistically, achieving such a venture remains an impossible task at present. A more practical approach would involve integrating some of these futuristic concepts into Saudi Arabia's existing cities. We'd love to hear your thoughts on the Mirror Line. Do you think it's a groundbreaking possibility or just a figment of science fiction? Share your captivating opinions in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to join our community at Billionaire Mindset. 
Thank you for tuning in and get ready for the next mind-blowing video soon.